Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,303. If you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,303 to 1,306 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, here's a question someone asked. I'm stumped on something that should be very easy. I have monthly prices from vendor, and I'm trying to do the max and min. Max is pretty straightforward. However, I am struggling with the min as I have zeros in my data set. What should my formula be? And here's the formula he tried. Hey, trying to get the minimum value greater than zero is an incredibly common task. Notice we can't just use the min function because then zero would be the min in our case. So this is a calculation with a single condition. Now, we're going to have to be version specific. We'll see a solution before Excel 2010, one for the versions 10 and 13, and one for 16 or later. Now, we still have to use the min function. But I can't highlight all of these values. I need to isolate only the ones that are greater than 0. So instead of just dumping this whole set of numbers, I'm going to use the if function. And I'm going to ask a question of all of those numbers. Now notice it sits in the logical test. This is expecting trues and falses. But by putting a range of cells here or an array of values, I can ask the question, hey, are any of you greater than or equal to 0? Now if I highlight this and hit F9 to evaluate it, you could see I have my pattern of trues and falses. That false represents that 0. Control Z. Now I simply comma and value of true. I highlight the same exact set of numbers. Remember, that false corresponds to that 0. So now false here will not take the 0 here. Now I don't need to put anything for value of false because if I leave it empty, it will put a false into the resultant array. Close parentheses and let's highlight this in F9 to evaluate. There's our filtered list of numbers. The min function and most aggregate functions are programmed to ignore logical values like false. So only positive numbers will be dumped into the min. Control Z. Now this is an array formula. There is an array operation. That just means there's some operator acting on not two single items, but a single item and an array of items. So I have to use the special keystroke to get Excel to understand this. Control, Shift, and Enter. I immediately go up to the formula bar, because the only real way to verify if an array formula worked when you use Control, Shift, Enter is to see if those curly brackets are there. And sure enough, they are. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you that it understood and calculated it correctly. And there is our answer. Over here, you can see the formula of those curly brackets. Now, those curly brackets can't be typed in. You have to use Control Shift Enter to put them in. Now, in 2010, they added a new function called the aggregate that will allow us to do the same calculation, and we won't have to use that special keystroke. Now, we would think that we could use min, but the way they programmed aggregate is 1 to 13 functions cannot handle array operations. It's only 14 to 19. So we're going to use the small function. So 15 will allow us to do small. And we'll just say aggregate, take the first small, which is the same as min, comma. We're going to need to ignore errors. So number 6, comma. And there it is, array argument. I can highlight the same group of numbers and then use division and do the same comparative array operation inside of parentheses. So I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to say, are any of you greater than 0? Close parentheses. Now, this will give us trues and falses. But because we have division here, when it does the division, true will be 1. And false will be 0. So there will be a divide by 0 error. And that is going to be our filter. So if I highlight array and hit F9, there are our positive values with divide by 0 being the filter. 6 will tell the function aggregate to ignore those. Only the positive numbers will be used to calculate the first smallest value. Control Z. Now I come to the end, comma, and the K. I tell it which small, and I want the min, so I put 1. Close parentheses. And watch this. I do not have to use Control Shift Enter. It calculates correctly. I look up in the formula bar. There are no curly brackets. 
Now in 2016 or later, and currently right now, this is July 14th, 2016. So you have to have the Office 365 version of Excel 2016. We have min ifs. you got to be kidding me. And all we have to do is put the minimum range, those are the numbers to consider for the calculation, comma, criteria range, that's all of these, and then comma, criteria one, in double quotes, I'm going to put greater than zero, and double quotes. Min ifs, max ifs, sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs, they all require criteria like this to be in double quotes if you're hard coding it in. But notice, that's a lot easier. No array calculation here. This is a built-in function. When I hit Enter, it automatically calculates this. If I put 1 here, instantly they all calculate. Control-Z. All right, there are three formulas to calculate the minimum value greater than 0. All right, we'll see you next trick.